What's up, guys? My name is Eric, aka as really Trinity, and I am a freaking moron. Uh, once again, I have done a recording without actually having my microphone on. Or actually, the microphone was on, but Fraps for some reason had turned off the little checkbox that it should have recorded my microphone audio. So uh, this, along with one entire other video, uh, was <laughs> scrapped. Um, I finished the biomes, uh, I'm just going to have to record audio over it and kind of explain what I did, but uh, this video I'm just going to be showing you guys what I've done so far, because I haven't actually done a whole lot. What you are looking at is the basis for a wool regeneration farm that I'm going to be building. Um, there was a lot of stuff here before, I'll probably show a couple of clips of uh, stuff that was here. Um, or just screenshots. Um, there used to be a wheat farm and a mob farm and the pumpkin, well, it was a melon farm. I had put pumpkins in it. Um, all over in this area, this whole thing has been flattened out. There used to be an orchard over here, um, which I'm going to replant. I'm going to make use of all of this empty space that is now completely leveled out. Um, but this is going to be our sheep farm for the server. Uh, there are 16 cells, and they're all paired up. Uh, 16 cells that I'm going to be building today. I'm going to show you guys how to do uh, a couple of them, do it you know, step by step. This is Eczema's uh, wool regeneration farm for 1.3, 1.4. Uh, I'll be using his exact design, so I'll link his video in the description. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get down to it. I'm going to not make the same mistake that I did the first time that I did this. I'm going to jump down to the lower branches. And then jump down from there. Because I did a straight drop from the top, and that's more than 23 blocks, so I, I died and lost. Oh, look at that. 19 levels. That was what I was at. Um, so right now I have the basis for all of the cells built. Um, I'm going to get all the supplies in my that I need for building one in my inventory, and we'll do the step-by-step -step process. Like I said, this is Eczema's. I'm not stealing it from them. I'm just uh, putting it in the Mind Sanity server, and I am showing you the step-by-step -step process that he did. I will also link his video. Okay? All right. So, quick cut. <clears throat> All right, we're fuck. <laughs> All right, we're back, and so for each cell, uh, and I have, like I said, I have 16. Each cell is a nine by nine area filled with grass, with the exception of this three long path. And then this path that goes all the way across, but has a block on either side. And I just remembered I forgot to get water. Gonna need water. Um, five buckets of water, essentially. Dink, 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 dink. So it's good to have a infinite source nearby. Um, each cell is actually going to consume three or four buckets because they're going to go in dispensers. Uh, but we have this area, and then for this area, you just use a building block of your choice. Uh, in Eczema's video, he uses spruce wood. I'm going to be using spruce wood as well. Uh, then next layer, you're going to put... Shoot. Uh, bump, 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 bump. Bump. Bump, 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 bump. Bump and slab there, blocks there, I think block there, block there, and then this is all, no, not that one. A little bit of lag on the server, oh, that's why. Uh, and then this is four back. Uh, and the torches that are here are, those are specific placement for it um, because this is going to light up the area to keep the grass constantly lit um, which means that it won't that it'll regenerate faster is the purpose of it uh, and then f at the back of here did I do that right? 
don't think I did that right. I didn't do that right. Uh, in the back here, there's going to be... Yeah, this is supposed to be 4 by 7 and then in the back there's these four little cutouts. Uh, and then we are going to add in our water. And the water will run just short, so you can step down here and pick up wool is what it's going to be for. Uh, we're going to add two blocks there, two blocks there. This is all going to be half slabbed except for that step and then half slab there. No half slab there. Alright, and then glass panes. Uh, on Eczema's tutorial, he does it layer by layer, uh, so you have a good idea of what he is doing. And then we go five back on here. And then. Trying to remember. There is a building block there and a grass. Building block there and a grass. We're just going to have two building blocks there for right now. And a grass. I'll grab that building block. And then from there. We're going to have our dispensers. Oops. Uh, and in each dispenser, put a bucket of water. Uh, and that's going to be for the flush system. Then on top of these, oops, uh, silk touch that. Uh, on top of those glass blocks, put glass. And then on top of each of these, put glass. And then in between, put a grass block. And then, oops, forgot one. And then a torch there and there. And a torch. Uh, this actually goes one higher. Torch there. Torch there. And this is grass as well. And then grass here, here, here. And then all of this is grass. Oops. That's uh, that's about it. Oh, almost forgot. Um, to do, 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 do redstone. Oops, that's right. Ah, oh, my God. Okay. Um, touching these blocks. This one is not so much. Um, but a touch of the grass, face the grass block and press your redstone and that'll drop it onto the dispenser. And then run one up here, there, and then we'll have half slabs all the way across except for that one. That one will not be half slabbed, that will be there, and a button. Oh, and I need to put redstone on top of it. So that's going to flush everything out, press it again, and ta-da! So I'm going to have to take this apart to put get sheep in there, but um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get sheep in here, I'm going to start breeding sheep, and I will build the rest of the cells uh, off camera. So that's how to build it. I'm gonna, Like I said, I'm going to link the tutorial uh, in the description. Um, because Eczema is awesome, and he made this awesome thing. Alright, so I will be back. Here, sheepy, 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 sheep. Here, sheep, sheep, sheep. Come on.
Let's go. Come on. Let's have some fun. Let's go have some fun. Nope, nope. Don't you dare. You. Nope. Come on. Pay attention. Here we go. Come on. Yep. Three. Um. Bump, bump. And dirt. Okay. And you two won't breathe yet. <sighs> Need to go find more sheep. Hey cow. It's with all the pumpkins. Something for Halloween. Ooh, cheap. Mm, any others around? Alright, let's go. There's a black one over there. And a block of sand up in the tree. Oh, the things you will see. Alright, let's go, sheepy. Uh, we're probably going to pick up either the pig or the... Oop, hey! Come here, you! Mm. Come on! Come on! Let's go! Let's go. No, you come here. Nope. You son of a bitch. Come here. Follow. Follow. Hooray! Alright, sweet. Well, there's that. Ooh, you guys can breed. Sweet. Another little baby. XP.
Alright guys, so uh, as you can see, nothing's happened over here. But over here, oh, we got some stray sheep wandering around. And oh look! We have all 16 sheep cells. All of them have different colored sheep. Uh, starting black, white, gray, light gray, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, light blue, lime green, green, I think that is magenta, pink, cyan, and brown. You can't really see them though. But we have all of our sheep, and some of them are apparently trying to escape. Uh, I've bred them up a little bit so that there's plenty in each thing. Um, the only final, the final details that I need to do is just basically dressing this up. Um, you know, hiding the redstone that's on top and the dispensers at the back and figuring out what I want to do with this giant freaking space. Um, I need to make some sort of walkway that goes all the way around. Um, since we're so close to spawn, I'm not going to bother putting a portal because, I mean, you can see the portal from here. Not going to bother with a portal. Uh, plus, it's an odd number. Um, so, like, where are we at? Right here, actually. That's our uh, center point. I'll leave that there for now. But yeah. Um, I'm de debating on if I want to label them with wool colored wool. Um, like have these pillars be the color of whatever wool it is. Originally these guys were going to be white, but this ended up be having more white sheep in it. So I figured I'd just spare, save myself and make these ones black. Um, though black would make more sense over there. Ish. Actually, it should go white, light, or black, light gray, gray, black. Or black, gray, light gray, white, depending. Doesn't matter. Anyways, still toying with the uh, decorative ideas of what I'm going to do with this, but I thought I'd show off that it has been completed. Um, and I think that's probably going to wrap up this video. Um, I'll do some of the rest of this off screen and I'll show it to you in another video kind of give you guys an idea but if you have any input on what to make this look like um, obviously I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna copy eczema's version and have you know like a couple of lakes in here trees um, a lot of grass you know make it pretty but I think his is actually bigger than mine because I believe he had two spaces in between each cell and this one only has one and the corners meet. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll link the tutorial in the video or in the description and have a good night.